Hello guys, hello Nakama. Welcome to our live reaction to One Piece chapter 998. We're two chapters away from the big thousand. I've got Kevin right here. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, Marco? I'm fine, and you? Yeah, I'm I'm good. Excited for uh, this chapter. That, <laughs> that's that's good to hear. So I've got my, my new volume here. Freshly delivered, volume 95 in English. Well, we're in at 97 in Japan, but that's the newest one <laughs> in yeah. English. Translation's <laughs> always kind of behind. I don't know why, but... Yeah, Weird. but it's a good one with the um, with the ultimate chapter with the bounties of Shanks and all those guys. And yeah, that's pretty good nice. stuff in there. Yeah. Okay, so... We've got the cover page here with Anel <laughs> and a cat. Um, cover art request by pen name X5GO. Anel and a cat listening to music while lacing around. The extremely popular, popular 97 volume is now on sale. The first generation versus the Yonko. Witness this fierce battle first hand. The first generation versus the Yonko. So Oda, Oda is teasing this as well, yeah. Mm. With the... But, all right, I guess we'll start. You start. Oh yeah, next page is mine. Uh, let's see. Huh? Onigashima is floating? The earth-shaking power of a Yonko. Um, it won't fall, will it? Who would have thought Lord Kaido would do something as outrageous as that? The minions are kind of scared. And why is Marco the Phoenix here? <laughs> Whose side is he on? <laughs> I don't know, and we see Chopper getting roasted by Marco. Ah, Chopper and Soro trying to interfere. Not really him. roasted, probably. No, I think he's healing him with the flames. Yeah. Is it hot? Yeah. What? Huh? I'm on fire, but it doesn't burn. Chopper's surprised. Flames are just at the right temperature to suppress the virus. Oh. You see Soro yeah. actually attacking Marco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and <laughs> and brook yeah that's that's uh, yeah brook is yeah okay dr chopper and it's hey it's the mink wait are the minks all yeah the minks are already here but they came with the attack squad what okay oh uh miyagi and tristan we have okay. made all the preparations to produce the antibodies come quickly we will assist you oh nice so he doesn't have to do it on his own. Uh, thank you. I can focus inside the tower better. And some of the ice demons approaching. Roar. Yeah. Oh, it's it's a pack of ice demons. Ooh, my. Run away, you two. Uh, let's take care of this all at once. What is Marco oh. doing? Okay. So he's flaming the whole area. Yeah. Passive flame. Okay. So, oh, it's not that hot. Oh, I can feel my body defrosting. What was I? Bosomasa is back to his senses. Just as you said, it's drawing out the body heat. They will start turning into ice demons again when they, ru when they run out of stamina. Thank you, Marco. Miyagi, are you okay? Marco. What's he doing here? That meddling bastard. <laughs> hey, you gullible bums. Hurry up and get the antibody back. There's no way the enemy will save your asses. Huh? So in the end, it's like we thought. Perfect. I'll use this opportunity to mass produce the antibody. Okay. And ooh, Next another page. double page. Nice. I think I have a handle on the situation. Uh, 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 Rorna, uh, Marco to Sorrow, and if you want to go to the roof, I can fly you there. Oh, nice. Yeah, Marco, yeah, yeah, Marco's giving yeah. Sorrow a ride there. <laughs> yeah, up just to the do roof. it. Just do it. Nice. Guy, uh, you guys, too, you aren't uh, here to fight Small Fry, are you? Uh, to Brook and Robin, uh, but we have to help Chopper. Well, he got a point there. Um, worry. And I guarantee you that Marco will, in the end, at the last moment, 
throw Sorrow to the top while he's clashing with King. Yeah, definitely. I think definitely, yeah. <laughs> I think that's probably the the biggest chance of what's gonna happen. But but is Marco implying here that Robin and Brooke are also flying with him yep. to the top? But they probably also get stuck with I don't know, Robin with Black Maria on this floor where Sanji is. Maybe and Queen. He's Queen's strong for them. I, I'm guessing I'm guessing that Robin will replace Sanji and Sanji will fight Queen. Yeah, that's a good a good possibility. Sanji doesn't fight women, so But but Brooke is is a baby who's who? I don't know. Really, I, I don't okay, know, let's go on. <laughs> yeah. It's too early to say. Mm. So don't worry, Mr. Skeleton will protect Mr. Raccoon. And the Yakuza boss is helping out here. We'll leave it to you. Wait, you bastard. Huff, huff. Apu you standing suck. back up. What? Shit, the door. Give me the antibody. I'm screwed if I lose it. Apu chomping uh, chopper. This won't be easy. Brute getting ready to attack. And we see x Drake transforming and fighting Apu right out of the air. Right out of his jump. Okay, that works. <laughs> <laughs> so former flying six x drake dragon dragon fruit ancient so and model allosaurus mr drake so he's really gone over to the enemy's side yep he is if you really consider me your ally leave this floor to me and go on ahead aligning yourself with the winning side you're smarter than you look so <laughs> replying to drake yep <laughs> I think Drake is the guy in One Piece with the most title cards. He got one as a Marine Special Force. He got one as a former Flying Flying Six. Yeah, he got a lot of them. <laughs> Worst generation back in in yeah. Sabaudi, <laughs> True, yeah. He also got one where he was introduced. Inside the castle, fourth floor. Sanji probably sensed the presence of a strong enemy <laughs> and is stopping them on the third floor. <laughs> I see. Seems like my observation observation hack still needs work. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy who can see in the future, yeah, of course, yeah. Mm. <laughs> huff, huff. Looks like one of us. What is that? Jinbei? Are these cats? Oh, these are who's who's guys. Could be. They look. You you say look at look at the thing. Look at the. The best cats. These are cat. These are cat. Uh, uh, cat houses. Oh like, yeah. Uh... <laughs> huh. These these are who's who's guys. One hundred percent. Because he had all those cat girls around him. Yeah, must be. Um. So okay, he controls must all stay the. Back on... What? So he controls all the, uh, cat ones basically. That's his squad. Yeah, his crew probably because all those flying six are um, former, former pirate crews. Yeah, former captains. Yeah, um, must stay back on this floor as well. I create an. Okay, I, I can see what this what this is going to be. I'll create an opening. Luffy, please go on ahead. Uh, inside the dome, left brain tower, central passage, general, and Frankie. Okay, next page. Oh yeah, next page, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got General Launcher and he's making a huge explosion right in front of him. Uh, you guys, move aside. What is he trying to do, huh? Uh, he flipped him over. Kind of oh, that oh, oh, that's I a see. nice panel. That's a nice panel. That's a really nice panel. So that's confirmation for me that this is actually the the one we won, Frankie versus Sasaki. The Flying Six Sasaki Dragon Dragon Fruit Ancient Soan Model Triceratops. Okay. Nice. Yeah. That's a nice design. Don't get ahead of yourself. Oh, Master Sasaki, please finish him off. A Triceratops? 
Your tricks won't work now, damn robot. So you were a dinosaur, huh? Eh? Indeed. Just give up already. Dinosaurs are the strongest creatures to have ever lived. Inside the castle floor, third floor banquet hall. He's escaping. Don't worry, there's no escaping from here. Hey, wait up. Don't run. Oh, it's, it's the, the snake. It's actually the snake teacher. What yeah. we talked about last chapter. Yeah. Hey, wait up. Don't run away. What? You can't. Don't run from us. Uh, huh? Son, she's... Ah. Okay. Fury confirmed right here. Next page. Yeah. I see it. Fl the Flying Six, Black Maria, Spider Spider Fruit, uh, Ancient So on Model... Rosami Gale Grau Fogeli. Rosami Gale Grau Fogeli. Uh, what the hell? Well, wait. I just have to look this up for a moment. Rosami Grau Fogeli. Rosa Migal is an extinct genus of megalomorph spiders with a single described species. The, oh, it's an age. Okay, it's of the age of dinosaurs, an ancient uh, spider. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Black Maria teasing Sanji here. Hey, you said you were lovestruck, didn't you? Ufufu, stay here with us. I'll make you my pet. <laughs> well, I don't think Sanji is into monster girls. <laughs> or is he? Uh, Look I'm at that. Don't so... underestimate Sanji. He is into monster girls. He even is into minx. <laughs> I must go there somewhere <laughs> I need to be. But still, huff, huff. Everywhere I look, there are women. Women. <laughs> and more women. <laughs> Is this heaven? Oh my this god. This guy's nuts. <laughs> yeah, of <he> course. <laughs> oh, by the way, we should maybe mention all the weird smile girls, probably. There are some snake girls and. I don't know what else. Yeah, snake girl, spider, black Maria. There's some kind of ghoul girl on the left side. Yeah. Kind of looks like Samara from The Ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. And this is that a kind of an alligator on the bottom left with the big tongue, or what? I don't know. I have no clue. Oh, and one guy's big thanks to 130 views on the last video. It's our our best video, I think, for now, uh, to this date. So 130 views is for us. A huge step, and thank you very much. Yeah, it's so. it's maybe we should like uh, explain it a little bit. It's a huge step from fifty to hundred because that's like double. That's a lot. Especially from the second to last video, which had I think twenty views. Yeah. <laughs> Happens. Yeah, yeah. It probably also depends on the cha on the chapter itself, how much and how how, how soon we're uploading this stuff. Yeah. Um, but um, the last chapter was a big one, so everyone wants to see everyone's reactions. We know that, but anyway, thanks for the 130 views. We even got a lot of likes, and we appreciate that. I think we um, should continue on to the to the next page. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> you called it. Of course. Um, inside the castle, four floor cat cafe. Oh, are you talking about the cat stuff or are you talking about the saber tooth tiger? Both. Both. Definitely <laughs> both. both. <laughs> yeah, I told you that because of the ancient so ones. Uh, and this cat guy is around who's who he's probably a saber tooth tiger. I like that. Okay. Ah, uh, Straw Hat got away. We've caused Kaido some trouble. Stop bullying my man, will you? <laughs> Flying six, who's who? Cat cat fruit, ancient zone model, 
Sabertooth Tiger. And all these cats. Look at the lion on the left side. <laughs> That's a um, weird one. I didn't expect the former warlord, Jean Maiden out of the sea, to be so childish. Why childish? Okay. Um, I'm the health I'm the helmsman of the Strawhead Pirates. I'd rather I'd rather you use the title with more warmth to it. Oh, so nice. that's that's nice. That's nice. I like Jean Bay. Yeah. Ah, my bad. I caught a glimpse of you once, back when you were still a member of the Warlords, that's why. Well, not that it matter matters anymore. If I could see her face, I'd probably chalk it would probably chalk my memory. <laughs> Too bad you won't be seeing it. <laughs> who is who who is who's who? <laughs> Do we know him? Maybe. I mean if he was in the war. What I mean in that, Marine form? That's a wild, wild specu speculation, but what if he was one captain under Whitebeard? Like one of the, the sons. Um, wait, 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 wait a, wait a moment. Um, who's who has? Uh, we already got the cover of One Piece Volume Nine Hundred Ninety Seven, which has all the colors of the Tori Ropo. Just wait a moment. Volume 97. There we go. No. There we go. Uh, okay. Who's who? Oh my god. You might be right with that one. Nice. <laughs> I mean, who's who, ha who's, who has, who's who has pink hair? You know who that could be? The spider dude? Squado, yeah. Squado, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the mouth is different, but the mouth is different. I mean, we'll see. I mean, it, it would make sense. Doesn't mean it, it's actually going to happen. Um, I uploaded the picture for you of the color stuff. Um, mm. It is in the middle of the page. Oh yeah, there he is. Um, but it could be Squirtle, but I, I think the f the mouth is somewhat different. different. Yeah, I mean it could be. It doesn't have to. Like I said, it's it's just a wild guess. But I think this moment with Whitebeard magnified his um his trust to Whitebeard, and he won't be joining Kaido or another another Yonko. He would be joining Marco. Yeah, but you never know. I don't think, I don't think. You never know if not the other crew members of the Whitebeard Pirates, like, kicked him out and banished him because he stabbed. Um, that Whitebeard. could be. That could be, yeah. So, you know, it's, like I said, it's it's just a possibility. That's a possibility, but I don't know. Is there someone in Chingbe's flashback? Or Fisher Tiger? With pink hair? Who looks like that? Do you think yeah. he's a he's a fish man? Have we seen him love? I don't think so. No. Maybe he is. Maybe he's someone like Dellinger of uh, Doflamingo Flamingo with half fish man or Jack, half fish man, half human. Yeah. Yeah, we better go on with the <laughs> with the manga. I mean. It's, we can't it's tell weird, this... it's just, but but Oda is implying we know this guy, but okay, let's or, go on. Or Jimbei knows him at least. Oh, and this is the final page already, oh my god, the next uh, one. Okay. That's, oh yeah, that's okay. the final page. Onigashima outside the dome. Whoa, two dinosaurs came crashing in, and it's page one Another and double page. They're the flying six, our enemies. And inside the dome storeroom? Wait, why? Oh, no, sorry, I'm reading it the wrong way. Here we go. Um, where did those cards <laughs> run off to? Key. That woman, I'll make sure to crack her head in half. Whoa. Ulti is, is really pissed off by Nami. 
<laughs> inside the dome storeroom. Huff, huff, nobody here, so we are safe. What is this? It's a statue of a dragon. It is. In the past, it was placed at the entrance of the island, but it's been abandoned here after my friend broke it. Who broke it? Your friend? Yes. Yeah, who broke it? Yeah, just look down. <laughs> Flames emerged from the depths of memory. No way! A few years ago, he came to kill my father. Ace. Uh... <laughs> A freaking course. That's why she trusts Luffy so much. Uh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know either, but I like the statue. Like it looks like you know, you know why? Punched in the face. Why? I don't like that one because it's the end of nine ninety eight. I I would like this ending if it was nine ninety five, nine ninety six. You mean of flashback? Course. I have worries that we have a flashback of Ace's journey in Vano with chapter one thousand. I wouldn't like that one. Yeah, me neither. Nothing, <laughs> nothing against an Ace flashback because his backstory. Ace, Ace's fan out. service in One Piece, but but uh, story wise, it, it's great for. Maybe we will see Ace clashing or clashing with Kaido. Mm. Maybe for fan service for chapter one thousand, but. I think Oda can do better than that. And I don't I still don't think that it's gonna happen. Yeah, I, it's it's hard to tell. I mean maybe yeah. it's a one chapter flashback. That would be okay. Like if he doesn't With the it, end with the end Luffy standing in front of Cairo could be. Yeah, that works. That's definitely that would something work, yeah. that would work, but same here. I, I can't imagine Oda pulling off a huge backstory. For, for or, or, wait, or this is leading to a connection to, to Marine Fort. We know that Kaido was going to Marine Fort and Cheng stopped him. So you mean maybe Ace, Ace and Shanks met? On Onigashima no, Kaido. may no, maybe. No, it can't happen. Shanks, <laughs> Ch maybe Shanks. He came to kill Kaido. Yamato mentions this here. Yeah. Maybe Shanks wanted to kill or challenge. Really, actually, challenge Kaido, and fought him, and lost. But Kaido was like, just go away, and but saw his potential. No. That he's a young, he's a young squirt and can potentially kill him in the future no i think it's and... probably to do with, with that he's the son of gold roger and that kind of knows that yeah yeah but but because also because of that he knew that ace had potential and to kill him in the future not now he's too young and too weak but maybe in the future he would be able to kill him and Kaido wants to die. He still wants to die. He wants people to challenge him. What if he was going to Marine Four to actually save Ace? <laughs> because he needed a competitor in the future. Uh, an, an additional competitor. No, I, I think Kaido would have just gone there out of boredom. And not to save Ace. That, that's... Out of out of boredom, you really think so? Sure. Be I be because I don't think be be because this moment was hyped by Oda because it was a hype moment for Shanks. How has Shanks stopped Kaido? There has to be reason to it. The, I still may. Um. Yeah. It, it's hard to say, but maybe what? Shanks told Kaido. That he knows there is someone better coming who will actually be a threat to him or, or will actually defeat him. And that threat will be Luffy. And Kaido was maybe extremely disappointed um, at this arc when he fought Luffy. 
And maybe he already knew because of Shanks that Luffy will be a big threat for him. No, I I think there there's there's more to it. We're lacking the information, but either it's because Ace really wanted to help Whitebeard become Pirate King, so he went there and tried to take out Kaido, which I don't think. I think Ace actually did the same Luffy would do. He saw the the people like they were poor, nothing to eat, uh, exploited, thrown in prisons, and he just had enough. That's why he challenged Kaido. I think that's how it'll start. Mm. Why he was in, in Onigashima, I have no clue. There must yeah. be a reason why he was there, which hasn't been told yet. The, I think Ace was there when he was with the Spade Pirates, right? I, I don't no, think he was there when he was with Kaido, uh, no, with Whitebeard. No, can't be. I think I think uh, I think it went like that. Um, the timeline uh, when Blackbeard and Whitebeard, uh, sorry, Blackbeard and and Ace clashed. Uh, Ace was already under Whitebeard's flag. So he I was, th- yeah. So I think he uh, still in the in the East Blue. He was. Uh, you know, uh, recruited by Whitebeard. Must have been. Yeah, really but, but they were also. But Whitebeard's territory is still the New World. Doesn't uh, matter. Ace was 100% in the New World under Whitebeard. And I uh, sorry, uh, uh, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. Um, so the re- he was recruited in the, East, in the East Blue or the beginning of the Grand Line. Yeah, or Grand Line, of course. Yeah. Should be, yeah. Can't but maybe, really. maybe Ace actually, I, I saw this on Reddit, maybe Ace actually came back uh, to Whitebeard re- because he, he saw Yamato and he reported to him, yeah, I saw Odin there because Yamato mentioned he was Odin <laughs> and he was doing fine. He was doing well. And Whitebeard didn't know. Whitebeard actually thought, okay, Odin is doing good in Wano. Good, good to know. No. That would be weird, but that would be <laughs> but that would be a reason for Whitebeard never going to Wano to fight Kaido for revenge. I I I don't think he knew anyways. Yeah, but but, but just just imagine the humor. Oh, yeah, uh, Oda would, would be building in that with Ace saying to Whitebeard, "Yeah, and um, when I when I went to Wano, I um, I met Odin, the guy you mentioned, and he's amazing and he's doing well and yeah." No, I don't think so. Okay, so what what do we have? Like like let's dissect this because we're just. I don't know, uh, spitballing here. She says a few years ago, so it must have been before Marineford. Of course, because he got killed there. But um, yeah, if you could be, be two, <laughs> it can't be more than two, one or two years before Marineford. That's the point I, I want to make, because a few is always implied to be between two and five years, right? So it can't be long. And Luffy, uh, instead of three days, trained for two years, right? What, what, um, what's his tattoo it, again? Uh, two well, days, it is most definitely more than more than three years ago. Yeah. Because, because two and a half years at this point, no, now, it, now it's three years. Because we got the time skip, it's now half a year or so that we are going to Wano. Yeah. And the beginning of the story to um, to Marine Fort was half a year. So it's now three years into the story. So it must be more than three years ago. So that doesn't he- that doesn't leave a lot of like time left between Ace being captured and 
Ace being able to go into Onigashima. Yeah. Hmm. But I think the timing is not really term that that important now. Because well, if it's six years, five years, four years, uh, it's probably be in this in this timeline. Yeah, but the point I'm trying to make is how old was Yamato back then? You see where I'm going with this. Yamato is tw uh, Yamato has an age. Yeah, um, twenty one or twenty four. No, 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 older. I think it's 20, 27, 28, something like that. Okay, that could be. Hmm. Oda, Oda has mentioned Yamato's age. Wait a moment. Um, one. Uh, I've got a computer here. <laughs> oh, anyway, guys, end of chapter. This is just theory section right now. So, I mean, if yeah. you stick around and if you enjoy okay. us, like, trying to come up with what, what one we could piece, expect. Yeah. Yamato is 28. Okay, no, then it's it's totally fine. He, he could have met her and said it's it's Odin, but I don't believe it. Because Yamato, remember Yamato also saw the Odin incident 20 years ago. Yeah, that's why I was... She remembers it, she can't be like one or two. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, another thing... Um, have you scrolled down at the end of the page? Uh, um, chapter 1000 will be out on, on December 25th. Do this can. So on December 25th, we have to do something. Yeah, I see it now. On December 25th, I'm actually um, at a birthday party. With a few One Piece fans. You also know them. A lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Yeah. I know. So I think it would be time. an opportunity. To record or to. To do a live stream for chapter 1000 at this party. Yeah. The only thing is the live stream is a little iffy. But we can talk log logistics after that. But we we're yeah. definitely gonna do something. So... Of course, in costumes. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna go to that birthday party in costume. Why not? I mean, it would be funny. Like there are no girls at this birthday party, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Um. Uh, well, I'll go as Luffy there. I don't care. And we got a brook there. Um, and maybe someone else. I don't know, but could be fun. Yeah, it's, it could be fun. I, will. If it, I don't care if it's a live stream or a video. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's but... the, the thing with the logistics I talked to was uh, we're going to use Discord and... I would have to stream at the same time. It's a bandwidth issue, basically. Yeah, and this guy doesn't have a good internet, so that's another thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not really. <laughs> so. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, we're definitely um, gonna do something. So, yeah, the good thing is we got a got a chapter on December eighteenth and on December twenty fifth. No, December 19th and December 25th. <laughs> you know what's... Uh, I mean, one thing we can say for sure that happened. Uh, Ace was so enraged that he punched the freaking statue. That's all we can say for sure. <laughs> Maybe it's... Um, as dumb as Luffy, right? Hmm. Maybe he thought, I punched his dragon statue, right? I defeated Kaido, right? <laughs> no, no, not gonna happen. <laughs> I think either Yamato or somebody else told him what's going on in, in the No, world. no, I, I just no, I just think maybe he knew Kaido was a dragon and he saw this dragon statue and immediately punched it and 
And the other don't know oh, that is not Kaido. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I don't think it, it happened comedically. I think it's more like somebody confesses something to Ace, like something that Kaido has done. Like Yama, maybe Yamato's backstory, because that would tie in well. And Ace just, and you know, they talked beside that statue, maybe. And Ace got so freaking enraged, he just had to punched freaking statue in the face. Maybe Ace, maybe Kaido killed one of Ace's crew? When no. they stranded on Rano? No, I don't think so. He would have thrown him in prison and made him work for him, but not just kill him like that. No, because he's a friend of Yamato. He, pro he probably uh, really loves his daughter. His son, daughter, whatever you call it. Um... And maybe that's also a reason Kaido was going to Marineford. Not because of Ace's strength, but because he really likes his daughter and respects his daughter's wishes and Yamato wished Ace to be safe. No. I don't think it's the love story. No, no not, not, a, not a love story between Yamato and Ace. But because Yamato respects Ace... And because of that, Kaido also, and and the Amato backed Kaido to do something about it. No, Kaido doesn't have any any respect for for Yamato. I mean, why else would he actual like put actual explosive uh, bracelets on you there? You think so? You think so? Actual Kaido, Kaido, Kaido even calls Yamato his son. So he, he even respects his daughter's wish to be a son, to be Odin. Mm, I don't really see it. Yeah, but, but Kaido, but Kaido called, when Yamato was introduced, before Yamato was introduced, Kaido was searching for his son. Why would he call her his son? I don't know, but not out of respect, no. But he's even scared of Odin, right? No, Kaido isn't scared of Odin. He respects him highly. I think that's maybe one of the things he's, why he's, he's scared of Odin. He is really scared of Odin. When the scabbers were attacking him, he saw Odin and he panicked. And they were cutting him and stabbing him because they had kind of Odin, uh, Odin's Rio, but not at this stage yet. Yeah, I don't but, know. Uh, yeah, it, it's hard to tell. It's just we're we're really grasping for straws here. It's just too far off. But I, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's it's a connection between Yamato and Ace, and we don't know what kind of backstory is mm. lying there. We don't have the information. I, I think we don't didn't even get the hints. Like I just been... hope we don't get a two pit to a two chapter flashback. <laughs> yeah, but it, you know what I think? It could have been like like with how Luffy and Yamato met. That Ace was just running into Kaido's territory and she, she kind of saved him from two higher-ups. Yeah. Oh, but, but the thing is, why does Ace want to kill Kaido? I think because of what he heard from Tama. I think it'll be the exact same thing like with Luffy. Luffy hears hears the sad like circumstances. Maybe there's a reason before he's stranded to on Wano. Hmm? Maybe there's a reason before he's stranded on Wano. Yeah, we already saw a small Ace Wano flashback right with the hunger pains of the people. Mm -hmm. So it could be because of that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's too little information and too many variables right there. And we didn't get many hints. Like, yeah, where we just get all in this chapter, we get all the all the fights we're gonna get. Yeah. Or some of them. Some of them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, six double pages. So it was a short chapter, but cramped with double pages. Um. So we got Frankie versus Sasuke. We got Jinbe versus Who's Who. That's it. Those are the confirmed fights. Those are con. I, I think those are really actually confirmed. Yeah. The the final fights for both of them. With um, Ulti and Page One, we still don't know. They're after. I still um, think Sanji and Uso. Uh, Sanji, uh, Uso and Bami. Could be. That I, I still to... think it's. Yeah, a rematch, a rematch for both of them. Maybe they're trying I, I... to lead them into a trap. Yeah. I, I think Usopp and Nami will beat them, actually. Um, because they're ac actively searching for, for the two of them. I, I think they will do it. Because Nami... Uh, you, you can't underestimate Nami. And Usopp, too. I think Usopp just... definitely has, has bullets up his sleeve he hasn't used yet. Yeah, that and... I think they're more of the tacticians of the team. So I think yeah. they're kind of making an escape. And while Thomas helping them escape, they formulate a plan. Yeah. And try to trap them to even the play field. So they actually have a chance. Yeah. At least that's my that's so... theory on that battle. But I wouldn't say it's confirmed. It could be that there's a last minute step in from another straw hat or... Uh, yeah. Some somebody allied with them, so. Yeah. I, I don't see it confirmed. I would say a strong probability for Yusuf and Nami actually pulling off this fight, or uh, like engaging in this fight actually, but. Mm. It's not. We only the, the only two guys we don't know yet are Robin and Brooke. I think they're going for Queen, actually. I, uh, I, no, I, I think because Marco actually mentioned how he will, he will fly Zoro, Robin, and Brooke. Yeah, but to the roof. Look, the 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 most probable thing that can happen here is King will interfere, um, and. Marco transporting four people will definitely slow him down. So, King is on the top. King is on the top floor, right? Protecting yeah. this stuff. So I, um, I think either so uh, Queen Robin or... Robin won't land on the top floor. I think Robin will land somewhere we don't know where, and then actually she will be on Sanji's floor, and she will um, meet Sanji and Black Maria. Sanji running away from Black Maria and she will handle the situation and she will free him of the spider stuff and Sanji will go for Queen because he will go back to the main stage um, looking for a fight for him or no. to help someone. No, 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 no. That's way too, way too complicated. Always keep it simple. Like... What's the most simple scenario we can we can actually see? Um, Marco tries to take them up. Queen interferes, tries to shoot them down, or does something. Like Queen's there. Queen's still a threat, um, and that's why I said I think that those two might engage with Queen. So uh, Marco has. Time He's to too strong. Phoenix. Queen, Queen is Queen is a Katakuri's level. You can't compare Robin and Brooke to Queen. He, he isn't um, a special, a special. He doesn't have a special devil fruit like Katakuri, but he he has a bounty of one point three billion. Uh, he's the second strongest fighter of Kaido's crew. He is Robin and Brook are not on his level, 
Sanji, Raid Suit Sanji can probably uh, compete with him. I don't think it is too, even combined. Yeah, but it's not the final setup. They could just, you know, try to kind of be in the yeah, way but, so but, Sora but, can go but, up. But, but, but who will fight Queen? Uh, it, it has to be Sanji. Uh, maybe it's Marco. Be because, because Sanji either fights Queen or King. Has to be. Mm. I, I don't see anyone else fighting King or Queen besides Marco at this point. Because Sora is going for the roof. Sora is 100% fighting Kaido with Luffy. 100%. Because this is foreshadowed over and over and over and over again. No, I think maybe Marco's going back to help like Brooke and, and Robin. And then they'll advance on. But I can't see like this really complicated uh, thing where uh, Sanji gets rescued by Robin and then Sanji would leave her alone. That's the next thing. Sanji wouldn't leave her alone. Yeah, maybe it's not Robin's fight. I don't, I don't know. But, but still, someone has to fight Queen. But it's not going to be Robin or Brooke. 100%. Surprise, enter Katakuri. He beats up Queen. <laughs> maybe maybe Drake in co combined with someone? A di dinosaur against dinosaur? Because a poo has to be down now, right? Yeah. <laughs> he, he's, he's shuddering. <laughs> and now he got bit again. Um, maybe Drake teaming up with someone? Because that would... Because he's still a supernova, that would be a fight, uh, an, an opponent to, um, yeah, a realistic opponent. Yeah, but, I mean, who do we still have left? We have King. Who's gonna, who, who's gonna beat King? King? Marco. At this point, I think Marco. Because I, I can't really see a fight of Zoro standing somewhere with this um, with his Zoro's flying around. I can't see that. Yeah, no, it's it's far too vague. Still with Queen, we can't tell. It's just... That's why that's that's why I thought it probably Sanji will fighting because he can fly. Uh, but Zoro can fly. I mean, Sanji against King, we saw how that worked. Yeah, because he was surprised, but now he knows what he's capable of. Ooh. And Sanji doesn't have the full potential, uh, hasn't figured out, the, figured out the full potential of the raid suit, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, he will see new true. stuff. Maybe, maybe what Frankie um, put in put in the red suit <laughs> or Usnop. Yeah, Sa Sanji definitely has something up his sleeve with the suit in this arc. Yeah, it would be fun if it was some comedical stuff like the first climate tax uh, that Usopp made. With the weird yeah. surprise attack. <laughs> that was funny <laughs> as hell. Like <laughs> the shield shoots a laser beam or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody in that room has to take on Queen to like at least cut everybody some slack. Yeah, Queen is still too confident and too chill on top of the stage. Yeah, he's just because there, there's there's a war going on right now, and he's doing nothing basically. He was shooting a a mini gun um, with the with those frost bullets, but that's it. And this is stopped. Yeah, it's it's weird. I'm and still... the, the 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 thing, Oda. Uh, and at the end of last chapter, we got this 
we got Onigashima flying around, and now it barely gets mentioned. It gets mentioned half a page in this chapter. Yeah, it's the, just... fir the first half page that Onigashima is flying around right now. It's not the same <laughs> like with the bird cage where you got constantly reminded that this thing. It will. We will yeah. get reminded that it's that it's jumping on the fly flower capital. Yeah. Not but yet, not but... right now, because this is Oda's chapter to set up, uh, the set up chapter for the fights with Frankie, Jinbe. Yeah, those are, those are, I'd say to 99% set up there, like there's no change with that lineup. Yeah. Just King and... The chapter King is even called same. Ancient So On, so... We've, we saw all these ancients so once. All the page one, well, we already saw them, but um, all the Tori Ropo with Sasaki, who's who, Black Maria. The only two missing are King and Queen. They didn't transform in this chapter. They're not Tori Ropo. Yeah, true, but just. just... But the uh, Oda was focusing on the Tori Ropo. Even Drake got the title card again. Even if he's not a Toby Rope anymore. Drake. Ulti page one. Who's who? Sasaki. Mm -hmm. Who's the sixth Maria. one? <laughs> of course. Black yeah. Maria, yeah. So yeah, we saw all of them transform. So it's, yeah. it's a fitting title. But still, the, yeah. the setups, the lineup's still not... I like the chapter. It's what I have expected from a chapter 998. I think the next one is more hype. I yeah. really hope it's not an ace flashback again. It will be. I hope not. It will be. <laughs> Show it after the war. <laughs> but, but please, not now. The only thing I, I'm still confused about because it looks like it's uh do you like go back to the page with um frankie and sasaki so this is the weird yeah. thing i wanted to mention you have sasaki and and frankie and we're yeah like 99 percent sure that's the lineup that's how it's gonna be right yeah then you go down next page Black Maria and Sanji, where we're like, no, he's never going to beat a woman, right? That's never yeah. going to happen. And then next page, who's who against Chimbei? Well, that's 100% right there. So is Sanji actually going to beat the crap out of a woman? Is it going to happen? No, that's why I think that Robin will, <laughs> will land. Yeah, but... Uh, unfortunately land on this floor and because Robin has this ability which will match your spider right because of of the limbs yeah yeah no I get that Marco but do you catch my drift we have yeah San Sanji won't fight a woman he, yeah he, that but... is not Sanji's fight of yeah course. but it is in the middle it's lined up with all the fights where we are like well that's gonna happen for sure you see yeah. where I'm going because with this. Used the, the, the thing Oda is doing here is because Frankie and Chinbei, these are suitable fights. Kind of suitable fights. But the middle one with Sanji doesn't match at all. Uh, you're right with that. But mm. there will something... Is, uh, you, you remember Sanji was a friend of spiders in Chaya? And where? Uh, at the Chaya arc before uh, the Chaya Skype arc, mm. um, there were spiders, and Sanju was scared of them or afraid of them. He didn't like them at all. Yeah, I don't know what's coming there, to be honest. So maybe he will punch a spider, but <laughs> not Black Mary, not the part of Black Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that could work, but still, like I said, it's, <laughs> it's like it's perfectly lined up in between two fights but, where we say these are going to happen 
like they are right now. And then it's like Sachi <laughs> and Black Maria. And we're like, is he gonna beat the woman? Is he gonna break the code? The sacred, yeah, the sacred but Jeff what, code? what is this anyway? This Black Maria for it is an ancient Soa model, but it looks like a smile. <laughs> it looks like a smile. Yeah, you're you're hundred percent right. It probably is really the ancient model, maybe a hybrid form or something like that. No, uh, no, no. it's it's an ancient Soen. That's already not a smile. Yeah, but it's it, it's it it is one hundred percent the theory um, we got last chapter that Black Maria is this is a reference to this siren spider in the waterfall. Yeah. 100%. This Yorogumu, I think. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that the woman part's real, too. Maybe it's like a, one of those spiders who have bait, like, trying to trap things with fake, I don't know what, like, waving mm. bait around. Huh. You know what I mean? I don't like, know. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Part of mean. Black Maria is fake. Who knows? Oh, that would be that would be <laughs> really like holy crap. That would that would be a huge surprise. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I again like this chapter. Um. I don't give it a 10, I don't give it a 9, I give it an 8 out of 10 this time. I agree. It There wasn't much happening. Classic setup chapter, but a big setup chapter for some of the fights of the Straw Hats. Mm. I like that. And I, I also like the Ace part, it just doesn't fit to the chapter number. <laughs> no, definitely not fitting in that, there. That's what I don't like. But it, it is a good cliffhanger. But just for the chapter numbers, right? So I give it an 8 out of 10. And maybe 1,000 really isn't this hype of a chapter. Maybe Oda is trolling us. We will see. So, guys, I think we can end it right here. <laughs> After an hour. <laughs> After we kept an hour. it really short. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We kept guys. it short this time. <laughs> but it's, it's it's a good uh, chapter. It, it throws out a lot, like hints. I, I I wouldn't call them info, but hints how 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 it's gonna happen. We yeah. got at least two of the fights confirmed. I I call them confirmed at this point. Like that's a ninety percent chance it's gonna happen like that. Or ninety five percent chance. Yeah. It's just. I mean, it, this chapter, to be honest, was all over the place. Like we start off with again, again Onigashima. We see Chopper, Marco, Sorrow, Brute, Robin, in the in the stage hall. Then jump over to. Uh, Jinbei and Luffy. Luffy goes on. Jinbei hangs back, and that's not even completely finished because in between we have Sasaki and and General Frankie fighting, and basically setting up the stage for that for this fight. Like yeah. Then Sanji and Black Maria. Then jumping back to Jinbei. And like, it. This chapter was just. Then the end was Ulti and page one and, and the Yamato and the flashback. It's just all over well the start of the flashback <laughs> I'd say. All over the place. Yeah. Like true. there was a lot happening, but there wasn't something distinct happening. Except maybe for Marco giving Chopper a chance to heal everybody. Yeah. Because there are too many characters. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of characters. Oh my god. Yeah, just... I, I, I like, I, I love this, actually. If, when, when One Piece doesn't focus on 
well, of course, I, I, I love the special fight chapters like Luffy versus Katakuri, but the mm. thing I, I love most about One Piece are these chaos chapters. We got one pitch of this, one pitch of that, one pitch of this, one pitch of that. I love this. But in this chapter, there wasn't much happening, of course, no. yeah, because we got all the setter, all the setter, all the setup. But still, I like it. It's for me an 8 out of 10, and yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, with, with a chapter like that, we don't know what we can expect next except for the flashback which is basically... maybe there still is no flashback no it's it's already it's a, it's a sec it's a second time yamato is teasing ace yeah but i mean look at the corners beside the page it, it's going black and usually when he does that there's a flashback happening yeah and so... i don't hope so <laughs> yeah there's some noise going on in the background but yeah I, I just wanted I to hear mention, it too yeah yeah i just wanted to mention that this this chapter is all over the place it took me longer than i it should have <laughs> yeah but anyways guys uh please again like the video thank you very much again for the 130 views and uh i think we got six seven likes it's much to us yes. <laughs> it's the beginning but much to us and please comment the video please tell us anything you want us to theorize about you want us to talk about what do you think about the video something like that we appreciate every comment oh and what would be nice so if if you people are watching like we theorized a really long time about what's actually gonna happen with with the ace flashback so what are you your ideas what are the connections between yamato and ace just comment yeah. your mini theory below the video and we're sure yeah. to check it out there's not much comments down there so don't worry we'll get to it <laughs> Yeah, that's hundred percent. One hundred percent get to every comment. Yeah, <laughs> but let let us know what you think. What made Ace punch the dragon statue, or what's yeah. what's the connection between Yamato and Ace? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like, share, uh, comment, maybe subscribe, and. Yeah, we're, and we'll I see mean, you, I guess, next next Friday. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, so thank you very much. Kevin, yeah. see you. Marco, see you too. Was bye bye. An interesting read. Yeah. <laughs> bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.